Okay, what we got here is uh, we got a squirrel cage, the last of the Mohicans. I pulled them out of air conditioners for a long time, and that's the last one I'm coming across. So uh, we cut the cord on the controls and taped up a, a plug for it right here. <clears throat> you got to be sure there's a third prong on it because it'll shock you if you touch it. If you don't have that third prong on it and something gets wet. Anyway, honey, put the put the last screw in it. Come on, you got enough break. Please. It's the last screw. You already did four. Just need one more. Keep it, keep it. Just put one right here to keep it held down so these screws. That one. Yeah, yeah, it looks nasty, but I'm telling you, this thing's gonna work. We're gonna call this the big nasty. <laughs> Big Bertha. Big Nasty Bertha. Right here? Yeah. That working. You, you gotta get it straight. There you go. That's good. That was pointing That's, because it's not holding it underneath. Well, then loosen it up a little bit and then tight, re-tighten it down. Oh my foot. And I gotta sit down. I gotta sit down. Hey, the titty's there. I think it'll do its job. Just, just grab grab in the middle of it and pull on it. See if it's gonna come out. Just grab in the middle of it. Yeah, there it is. It's it's doing its job. It's just a little teddy to keep it from sliding. My floor. Yeah, well, we made the mess, and I can do that. I can sweep it up. Thank you for doing that for me. Anyway, we're gonna cut the camera off and put it in the window and see how good it works. Probably blow the house full of dirt and dust for a while, because it sure is nasty. <laughs> Not happy. Not happy. <laughs> Baby, it's gonna work. I promise. I promise. I, I, I dumped it out up there, man. Me and my son, we dumped it out and got it all cleaned up and everything. Exactly. I don't care what it looks like. It's going to do the job. I do. It's going to be outside. You're not even going to see it. So we're going to air condition the outside? No. I'm going to put it in the window and it's going to blow the it's going to blow the air in here. It's burning, but it's ugly. <sighs> For really? Really. Man, I don't, do you want what you do, spray paint it first? Yeah. No, I'm not spray painting, baby. Let me cut the camera off until we get it in the window, and I'll cut it back on. Look at this. This is even a cord. I'm going to save the end of it because I think it'll sit on that CB radio I got. I want to go throw it away. No, look. New that'll, order? That'll fit on the CB radio. I'm not doing that. I don't have a plug for CB radio, and it's $19.95. It's exact. And uh, anyway, just to let you all know what we did. We hooked this cord up right here. This cord has three wires on it. One's the green wire, one's neutral, and one's hot. And the green wire you have to connect to uh, the metal because if you don't, because of this motor up here, it's running. You can barely see it. But if it rains and you only have two prongs hooked to this, it'll shock you if you go touching it. And we used a barbecue grill right here. Barbecue grill, and uh, anyway, we need to get that. Go ahead and stick that one behind there. I'll get the drill and the, and the screws. What are we drilling and screwing it? We got to hold that piece of wood in there. There's the screw. Like that? Yeah, like that. Here's the screw. There. Oh, we screwed it. Well, hold on, I'm gonna show you. Here, hold the screw. And then <laughs> the make screw. it. All right, now we're gonna put a screw right there. Let me get the grill. There you go. I don't think this is a good idea. Well, baby, look. Yes, it is a good idea. Just put a screw right there. It's not. It's, it's not gonna hit nothing. Okay, you screw. Will you quit? It's power tool. Not what it's gonna hit. It's what. Just screw it. <laughs> That's right, baby. You should stop it. Look here, just 
muscle down on it. It's turning backwards. You need to turn it the other way. <laughs> Stop it! You're dirty. Would you? St <laughs> it's it's screwing backwards. You need to put it in there. Screw. Make it screw the other I've way. I've never tried that before. Here, let me get another screw. Here. Stop. <laughs> Well, I guess this is the first time screwing backwards for everybody here. Now does that actually work? Just screw it. There you go, that's it. Now, barbecue grill, pieces off of an air conditioner. And, and screw! Two, and screw and a couple boards and, and got it done, man. We, gotta have, we had to put that wood up there because the cat was chasing June bugs in the window and eating them. What about that side? Uh, uh, there, squirrel. For now, for now, the cat can't get out. And that's good for now. Anyway, we're gonna put another screw in it. No, one screw will work fine. That way, we Actually, don't have to take we them had off. Actually, two. Boy, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for screwing it for me. You're welcome. Kiki's, say goodbye, Kiki. I'm telling you, these dogs. Oh, wait a minute. Hold, hold the camera. Hold the camera. Why? Let's hold the camera. I was playing with her. Still toys. rolling. Still rolling. Roll that beautiful bean. Pudding. It is. Yeah. All uh, right. Look here. These dogs are domesticated. I got five dogs outside. No, you don't. Oh yes, I do. Oh yeah, the dogs. Two of them are ashes. Somebody sent these to me. They gave these to me. No, no, no. One that was your Christmas present from oh, my it? sister. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. She sent them to us. Wait, it's got a glare on it. One of them says bugger and the other one says bud. And uh, I'll let you know from experience that, you know, a lot of people that have a problem with closure with their animals, uh, this old bud box, the, the original one, because somebody stole the bud box because, see, it says bud on it, you know? Hey, somebody could keep their buds in there. That's why they stole it. What these are, are cedar boxes. They're cedar wood boxes. Cedar wood boxes. It comes with a, a lock and a key on it. You can, and you a can, lot of vets oh. have a service, a cremation service that they call or they know of to have this done. Right. Our plan is when we die. I'm going to put some ashes in my 72 Chevy truck and put that bed liner down in the cab, mix it up in the bed liner, the rhino liner that's going to go in the cab, and then my dogs can ride around with me. And not all of them, just some of the ashes. Just a little bit of ashes, just so they can ride around with me. But anyway, uh, but it, anyway. Makes it, it makes it easier. It makes it easier for, for somebody to have closure. Uh, you can even take an Altoids box and put some of put some of your dog's ashes in an Altoids box and carry it in your pocket. But when 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 Bud first died, I carried this thing on the. It wasn't this one, but the box that he originally came in. I carried him around to all the job sites for a long time. He rode with me in the truck like he always used to, until I got secure enough to leave him to leave him be. But I do know the difference between them because Bud was wasn't burnt very well. These are chunks. It looked like seashells, and this is. This is Bud. Booger, I guess they decided to burn him a little bit longer. Because he's just, he's complete powder and, and he was sealed not with a sandwich tie. This is sealed with a sandwich tie. Booger's sealed in a, in a Ziploc baggie. And Booger, Booger, old Bud. And Booger, that's what I call him. I used to say, Bud is ready to go, and he would go. Up, he he would he would just hop in the truck and go with me anywhere. But uh, now they finally get closure. They get to go be put to rest again. And uh, <laughs> but like I said, it, it's all it's all it's all in your head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and lots of people thought that I was crazy for uh, 
taking the the ashes with me everywhere I was at, everywhere I went for a long time. I guess I guess they decided one of them only needed to get locked up because I don't see it. I don't see a lock and key for the other one. Look, that uh, one came with a that one came with a twist tie. I wonder what the deal is. I think it's supposed to be pouring back. I don't know. This one came with a twist tie. I guess they. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. These are re reordered boxes. Ow, man, my foot's killing me. I gotta sit down. As usual. But what I was saying was, oh. is we come up, or I came up with the idea because Galloway. What? My little one, my one-eyed rock star, he's 14. He will probably be the next one to pass, and he will get a box as well. And what we're hoping when the both of us die, that our kids will take our dog's ashes and put them with us, you know, when we die. So that way, you know. You can be together forever. Yeah. Well, I would be just be rather be mixed me up in some, uh, but it's at the way Limpy's the, going, he will uh, be going to dog heaven. Because he's always in the dog house. <laughs> no, I, I, I want to put all my dogs that I have cremated in, and as well as me, I, I would like to be cremated and sprayed in the back of my 72 Chevy, man, as a bedliner. That way I could go to... I, I don't mean, think so, Bob. Yeah, I'm putting my ashes in the 72 Chevy truck, baby. When I die... I want you to spray it in all the cracks and crevices where ain't no way that that those ashes can get out. I know I'm stupid and you think I'm crazy, but uh, I will live on in my 72 Chevy with Louise. And our daughter had a pit bull that was hers, and she died, and she has had the same thing done. No, so she had Bella done? Uh -huh. Yeah, Bella's the, the mother of... Uh, the black one. The black one right there. Bella was a pit bull, and uh, I got I got Bella for Booger. Let me share the story right quick. I'll make it fast. Really? I got I got his. There's nothing I, fast about you. I got his his uh, his mom's. I got his mom to mate with Booger because Booger was fixing to die, and I think it was kind of cruel that I waited his whole life. He was a virgin, and then. When somebody told me he, you know, only had like a month to live, I went and bought, I went and got Bella. And that poor dog, man, he wore himself out. I mean, he, he, he died trying. I mean, it, uh, he was, <laughs> he was exerting himself hard. He had prostate cancer and uh, he died, he died a happy dog. I just wish I, I, I really wish I would have, uh, Done it sooner. Done it sooner, so he, so the, so, so the, the intercourse would have took place, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the, the pregnation. Yeah. He, evidently, evidently he was, evidently he was shooting blanks, because it didn't work. And she went out, and 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 uh, we had to keep her in the house. And I swear to God, I've never had a, a dog with so much potent smell that the dogs down the street. We had three of them. And they were breaking the glass to get in the house. They were breaking our windows to get in the house just so they could hook up with her. And one of them was a, a Rottweiler. One of them was, what was that? What was that, a German Shepherd? And one of them was a little scrawny dog about this tall. And when she had puppies, she had one of each of those. And we asked the vet, I said, how is that possible? But he said, no, DNA don't mix. Whenever the sperm hits that, that egg inside the female, it makes that kind of a dog. And if she keeps having sex, it's going to make another, it's going to keep, they're not, in other words, they told me that if she bred with the Rottweiler, that doesn't mean that, that this dog right here is not part pit, part German Shepherd, and part Rottweiler, and part wiry hair dog. In other words, they a female dog can get impregnated by, by three, more than one, by three, can get impregnated by multiple breeds of dogs multiple, at the same at time. The, at the same time. And they'd be individually still part pit and part Rottweiler. Part pit and part German, German Shepherd. Shepherd. She had a wary dog, German Shepherd. She, I mean, I'm telling you, she was a whore. I was so mad at that dog. And then my daughter came and uh, got her. That's enough. And uh, anyway, That's she, enough. she passed away because uh, she doesn't want to talk. My but daughter, my the, daughter point, wanna... the point is, is 
cremating your dog is not for everyone. Some people think it's kind of corny. You know, but for other it people it closure, is. It helps closure, I swear, man. That Altoids, that Altoids can, after a while I started carrying an Altoids can. I think it's it. corny that they have doggy treats in the frozen food section at Walmart. But, <laughs> you know, to others they don't. Man, I hope that motor lasts. I don't think it's going to last through the night. Been setting up for a long time. Well, he had a good life. A no, whole 45 I'll, minutes. I'll let it, no, I'll, I'll let it roll. It, it's okay, honey. I probably need to oil the bearings on it. It's got a little oil ports on it. You were oil, oil the shaft. Anyway, all right. Anyway, so we're going to get out here and let this go, man. Limpster out.